Myanmar receives funding to enhance maternal and child health. The World Bank approved 100 million US dollars in loans and credits to help finance a cash transfer project for improving the nutrition of mothers and children in the first 1,000 days of life in Myanmar. Approximately 700,000 pregnant women and newborns in the Arawadi region and Shan state will be assisted by this maternal and child cash transfer endeavor. The program will also aid in the enhancement of social protection services and the inclusion of those living in remote or conflict-affected areas. In their press release, the World Bank highlighted that good nutrition for young children is important for better cognitive development, learning outcomes, earning potential, and a productive future. Many thanks, World Bank, for your generous support. May the devoted mothers and precious children of Myanmar thrive in vibrant health in the kind shelter of heaven. The International Organization for Migration, IOM, joins with partners to help Iraqi returnees. The IOM, in cooperation with Iraq's Joint Coordination and Monitoring Center and humanitarian organizations, recently inaugurated community resource centers, CRCs in Beijing and Jalla in Iraq to assist the return and reintegration of displaced citizens. Legal, educational, occupational, mental health and psychosocial services are offered at the centers to benefit the returnees and displaced persons as well as their host communities. The European Union, a laureate of Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Unconditional World Care, as well as a recipient of the Shining World Leadership Award for Peace, provided funding for the two CRCs, which are among six such centers that have been established in Iraq. Our sincere gratitude to the European Union International Organization for Migration, Iraq's Joint Coordination and Monitoring Center and Partnering Organizations. May your benevolent assistance help restore harmony and prosperity to the peace-loving citizens of Iraq in the divine's infinite goodness. Moroccan Energy Efficiency Initiative awarded with substantial funding. The International Climate Finance Program, the NAMA facility, is providing 20 million euros through concessional loans and grants to Morocco's energy efficiency building sector project. As the winner of the global competition, the endeavor supports the nation's commitment to decrease greenhouse gas emissions and address climate change. It will be implemented as a collaboration with the Ministry of Energy, Mining and Environment as well as the state-owned property company Alamaran Group. Our jubilant congratulations, Morocco, on the financing of your green efforts. In the wisdom of the providence, may your climate smart work bear much success in helping your picturesque country and our treasured planet return to their pristine state. Australian non-profit launches project to address global plastic waste. The Mindiro Foundation, a philanthropic organization, has committed more than 300 million US dollars to the See the Future initiative with the goal of ending plastic waste worldwide, focused on an international and industry led approach. The endeavor will work with companies involved in the supply chain of plastic, with fossil fuel plastics having a voluntary contribution attached while recycled plastics will have no such additional cost, making them more affordable. See the future plans to raise more than 20 billion US dollars per year to assist with new recycling technologies, collection facilities, and recovery from current land and sea pollution. Alongside its hashtag NoPlasticWaste social media campaign, the project envisions supporting the creation of a circular economy with plastic to be recycled and reused. Such a promising effort, Mindiro Foundation and See the Future, wishing you the best on all your work to safeguard the planet in heaven's grace. Kyrgyzstan Lawyer wins the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees UNHCR Award. In recognition of his assistance in ending statelessness in Kyrgyzstan, Azizbek Asharov, Executive Director and Founding Member of Fergana Valley Lawyers Without Borders, FVLWB, has been honored with the prestigious UNHCR Nansen Refugee Award that includes 150,000 U.S. dollars in prize money. 
Since 2014, FVLWB has helped secure birth certificates and passports for more than 10,000 undocumented residents, including 2,000 children through 68 mobile legal teams, traveling at times by horseback to reach even the most remote communities. After gaining citizenship, the individuals are entitled to basic rights, including employment, education, health care, house ownership, and freedom to travel. Currently, 38-year-old Mr. Azharov is assisting other Central Asian countries in eradicating statelessness. Our heartfelt gratitude and warmest felicitations as is back Azharov and for Ghana Valley Lawyers Without Borders. May heaven bless you many fold and may we all support every being to flourish in divine glory. Supreme Master Ching Hai gratefully present Azizbek Asherov and Fergana Valley Lawyers Without Borders the Shining World Best Lawyers Award plus 50,000 US dollars as a loving token of support to further this noble cause. May you and all involved be abundantly rewarded by heavens with high salute gratitude and best wishes. United States passport chain introduces vegan eggs. Pennsylvania, USA, popular food eatery Breen and Danes recently added the vegan just egg breakfast wrap to its offerings. Made of non-GMO monk beans, the plant-based eggs will be available in all five of the restaurant's outlets. The wrap contains just eggs, tomato and dairy-free diet cheese and can also be ordered with Beyond Meat vegan burger crumbles. Wonderful news! Green and Danes on your new plant-based breakfast wrap. May such delectable and planet-saving offerings encourage your discerning patrons to transition to the happy vegan lifestyle in celestial jubilation. United Kingdom, a shining worldwide leadership award laureate to support biodiversity through new funding projects. The UK government announced £90 million in funding to protect international biodiversity through its Darwin Initiative. Endangered species such as Bengal tigers and black rhinos, as well as valuable habitats, including coral reefs and mangroves, are likely to receive support. The UK government further committed £30 million to address the illegal wildlife trade in the next three years. It is part of the £220 million fund announced in September 2019 by UK Prime Minister His Excellency Boris Johnson to halt loss of biodiversity around the world. Our sincere appreciation for such a generous commitment, Your Excellency Boris Johnson and the United Kingdom. In heaven's infinite benevolence, may all beings find safety and support through humans' dedicated stewardship of our cherished earth. 